Our film begins with a person waking up from sleep and finding himself locked in a room in the shape of a cube. He begins to explore the place around him and discovers that the cube has six doors that are exits to six other cubes. He opens one of these exits and enters the second cube, but suddenly it appears that the cube contains a trap. It is an iron net that flops over this person and cuts off small parts. And at the same time, in a second cube, it overtakes a person named Quentin, and he begins to move between the cubes cautiously until he finds a cube with an unconscious person inside of it. And then they are surprised to see a woman staring at them, so Quentin hides and pulls her and throws her to the ground and he suspects that she is the one who did this to them, and he is about to hit her, but he finds her as afraid as they are, so he concludes that she is just a prisoner, and suddenly they hear a voice, and by identifying the source of the sound, they know the cube she is in, and there is a young teenage girl whose name is Levin. She remains terrified and does not understand anything. Suddenly, the exit in the ceiling of the room opens, and the fifth person, whose name is Ren, enters. Helen directs her words to Quentin and asks why he is moving cautiously. He says that he discovered the presence of traps in certain cubes, and Levin is terrified of what is happening, and Quentin notices that her glasses are broken, so he hands them over to her and guides her and reassures her that he is a policeman and will not leave her until he gets her out of this place, and everyone shows signs of fear except for David, who is very calm, as if he knows something, and Helen goes to check on him and discovers that he is injured in the head. As for Ren, he remains unfocused with them and begins to open the exits around them and uses his boots and throws them into the room before he enters it to make sure whether there is a trap in it or not and the boots actually burn. So they conclude that the room, there is a motion sensor and Quentin gives them a clue. They ask how they got into this place, but none of them think. They ask how they got into this place, but none of them know. It appears that they were living their lives normally. Suddenly they woke up in this place, and all the time they heard the sound of something moving outside the cube they were in, but they did not know what it was, and Quentin starts thinking. And thinking that the maze has only one exit, and that if they were able to walk through the correct cubes, they will reach this exit. So they decide and implement Ren's idea, which is that they test the rooms using their boots. On their way out of the cube they are in, Levin notices that at each exit there is a code consisting of nine numbers, and they guess that it represents the number of the room or the cube, but it is still a very large number, and this is what it means. The number of cubes in this maze is more than 400 million cubes, so Helen hopes that their guess is wrong. Ren used a clever trick, which is to suck his buttons in order to preserve his saliva for as long as possible, and then move to the next cube. And even though nothing happens to the boot, Ren refuses to let them enter and says that the room has dry air, which means that inside it is a chemical sensor that detects the bodies of living creatures. But he is amazed by his intelligence, and Quentin focuses on his name is written, and you find out that he is a professional criminal and that he has escaped from prison more than six times before using his intelligence. And while he is talking, he runs to the cube next to him, but suddenly a toxic substance comes out. So they quickly return to their room and try to save him. But his body begins to erode until he dies. And the remaining four are shocked and afraid. And they conclude that the one who set these traps is smarter than them all and the four feel desperate and realize the reason for their presence in this place. Quentin is sure that each one of them has a specific job and that they must cooperate in order to get out of the maze. He knows that being a policeman is the thing that distinguishes him and Helen's talent. She is a doctor and can save any of them in case he is injured. He wants to know what Levin's talent is, but she tells him that she is just a girl. She is ordinary and does not have any advantages. So he asks David, who says that he is an ordinary employee who also does not have any talent. While they are talking, he notices that all of their personal belongings were taken, except for Levin's glasses. So Quentin concludes that it will help them in something, and they guess that this chicken has something to do with the numbers for me at every exit, and he asks who Levin concentrates on these numbers well. She might know something, so she discovers that all the rooms without traps were with non-prime numbers. Thus, we know that Levin's talent is calculations and numbers in general. To make sure of her words, they throw the package they have in a room with a non-prime number, and they discover that there is really, there is no trap, and they rely on her words and begin to move between the cubes. 
but it takes a long time to confirm whether the room number is prime or not. Quentin notices that from the numbers of the rooms around them that they are all booby-trapped, and they are not in front of them except that they see the room number on the ceiling. So Quentin uses his physical fitness and goes out to see it, and as soon as he opens the exit, a young man falls upon them and discovers that his name is Kazan and that he has special abilities. They feel that he will be a burden on them and they are upset, but Helen refuses to give up on him and begins to deal with him very calmly so that he agrees to listen to her words. They reach a certain room and Quentin is the first one, but suddenly he notices that there is something around him and discovers that the room is booby-trapped and that he is trapped inside a trap, but he uses his intelligence and is able to get out of the trap. However, he suffers a slight injury to his leg so Helen bandages the wound. It appears that Kazan was frightened by their loud voice and began to cry. So Quentin becomes angry with him and orders them to silence him in any way possible. At this time, Quentin takes advantage of the opportunity and talks to the two girls and says that he is suspicious of David. And this is because he is silent all the time. And he guesses that he has something to do with everything that happened. And he is confident in what he says. And this is because he knows how to read people well. But the two girls remain unconvinced and David returns with a bean after he was able to guide him. And the four conclude that the issue of numbers is more complicated than they thought. Quentin and David begin to fight and Quentin goes over to the first person in the room next to them and David refuses. And this is what makes Quentin doubt him even more. So David responds to him and says that all their attempts will fail and this is because there is no way out at all. So the four conclude that he knows something and force him to speak. So David is forced. He confesses and says that he was one of the engineers who built the cover of the big cube, but they isolated him in an office alone. And that is why he does not know any details about this project or the reason for their imprisonment inside it. And he also does not know anything about the numbers and he continues his words and says that he does not even know who the owner of the project is. This is because he was forced to carry out orders without knowing any details. So Quentin became angry with him and began to beat him. But Helen calmed him down and said that he was the only one who knew many things about this building and could help them get out. Levin began talking to David and learned from him the dimensions of the building from the outside and through her knowledge of the dimensions of each room. She can determine the approximate number of rooms and conclude that the number at each room is a coordinate that helps them know where they are in the big cube. She can know that they are seven rooms away from the edge of the building and they have no other solution but to walk after her. And Quentin wants David to be the one to enter the room first. This is because he is the least useful to them. And if he dies, they will not lose anything. But Helen refuses and says that the fairness is that they walk around the floor and reach a specific room. And Levin is surprised at its coordinates. And this is because her numbers say that she is outside the cube at all. They discover that all the rooms around them are booby-trapped, so they look for the easiest trap for them, and they find one of them that works with sound and says, Conton is afraid of Kazan, and says that they should lock him in a room and leave him. And this is because he will not be able to escape from this trap. But Helen, she refuses to let him go. So they explain the seriousness of the situation and order him not to speak. And they begin to pass from this trap one by one until it is the turn of Quentin, who will be the last one among them. Kazan laughs by mistake. And because of it, Quentin is about to die, but he escapes from the trap at the last moment. And because of what happened, Quentin tries to hit Kazan, but Helen intervenes and defends him. And Quentin and Helen fights and they find that Quentin is a nervous person and cannot control himself. So Helen says that it is normal for his wife to abandon him. And Quentin becomes angry at her words and hits her. And then David begins to open the exit to the floor and they discover that they have reached the edge of the building. But they remain at a very high altitude and there is no way to descend. Helen willingly goes out exploring the place and everyone takes off their clothes and makes a long rope out of them. Helen holds one end of the rope and goes out exploring, and the rest of them hold the other end to protect her. And Helen begins to move carefully and looks for anything to help them. But while she moves and the rope slips from their hands, and Helen is about to fall, 
and Quentin is able to hold the rope at the last moment and prefers to hold Helen's hand. But he decides to let her fall to her death and tells the others that he cannot hold her and he pretends that he is shocked and upset. Because of what happened, Levin becomes very tired and says that she cannot think, so Quentin decides that they should get some sleep. While they are sleeping, it appears that the room is moving from its place, but they do not feel the need, and Levin excels and discovers that Quentin has pulled her down and taken her to the room next to them, and he wants them to complete solving the maze alone and says that the rest of them will hinder them no more, and he is trying to harass her. She quarrels with Levin and refuses to walk without them. Meanwhile, David and Kazan are able to reach the situation they are in. David stands in front of Quentin and challenges him. Quentin tries to intimidate them and says that when Helen crossed her boundaries with him died, so they conclude that he was the one who killed her. They are shocked and Quentin starts hitting David. Then he opens the cube under them and throws it in it, but they are surprised when they find David laughing and they enter his place and find Ren's body. They are very surprised because they left the body in a room very far from this place, and they conclude that the rooms are moving from their places and that this is the reason for the loud sound. They listen. Levin begins to focus on the numbers and discovers that not only does it indicate their place in the cube, but she can also determine where they will move and when they will reach the edge of the cube. But it remains a complex calculation that takes a long time, and she remembers the room they entered before that, whose coordinates said they were outside the cube. They conclude that it is a bridge, and if they are able to reach it and stay inside it until it turns a complete circle and returns to its place at that time, they will remain at the exit and realize that they are looking at this room quickly before the rooms start moving again. Levin returns to focusing on the numbers and discovers that the rooms containing the trap are not the ones consisting of prime numbers, but those consisting of the bases of the prime numbers. The problem is that the numbers are very difficult and it will take a long time for them to be able to determine whether there is a trap or not. And suddenly Kazan begins and can calculate exponents very easily. And they discover that he is a genius in mathematics and that if they had abandoned him in their lives, they would never have known how to get out of this maze. And they appreciate that he helps them solve these puzzles. While they are moving between the rooms, David tries to close the exit on Quentin in order to get rid of him, but Quentin is able to escape from him and starts running after them and wants to take revenge on David, but David prepares a trap for him and opens the exit in on the floor of the cube, Quentin falls and dies, and the three are happy that they were able to get rid of him and return to continue their search for the bridge room. They reach a certain room and Levin finds part of her glasses case, so she concludes that this is the room they started from, and based on her calculations, they will have one room left and reach the bridge room. They reach the room that represents the bridge, and when they open its exit, they see a strong white light in front of them, so they conclude that their plan has succeeded. They are happy, but the surprise is that David refuses to go out and says that he has no reason to go out into the world which is full of human stupidity. Suddenly, Levin is stabbed in the back and dies, and they discover that Quentin is the one who killed her, and he acts like he is still alive, and then he gets close to David. He also stabs him, and Kazan is terrified of what is happening and is able to walk towards the white light. Quentin tries to go out after him, but the exit suddenly closes because the light will move, so he locks on Quentin's body and kills him, and thus, Kazan is the only one who can. He solves the puzzle and gets Salem out of the maze, 